Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment of the year that you've all been waiting for. EAFC 24 is out in under a week, and the full database is out, so it's time to ramp up the content on the channel, and today, we're doing something a bit different, and we're gonna do this with as many different positions as I can be bothered with. Tier lists on, like, the top 25 players in every position. Now, I'm gonna limit it to the men. I know that's gonna upset some of you, and that's fine, but I am just personally gonna limit this to the men, especially with the position we're doing today. You'll understand why when I rank the players according to what they are. But, yeah, we're starting with the top 25 centre-backs. Now, obviously, there will be other centre-backs that people use to start with, but these are the top 25 centre-backs that are male on Footbin. Of course, Footbin is just the best to use in terms of websites for this sort of thing. And if you're new to the channel, hit the sub, hit the like button, and let me know the tier list that you want to see next, whether it be fullbacks, midfielders, I mean, defensive midfielders, Attacking midfielders, wingers, all that good stuff. But, without further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to start from the top and work our way down. We've got David Alaba, who... Let's have a look. I believe he's on this page here. So I'm going to have my tabs open for reference, so that I know the player's stats. David Alaba is... He is... 5'11", centre-back. 79 pace, 71 shooting, good good passing and dribbling and defending and physical. However, he's 5'11", so that knocks him down a bit. That knocks him down a bit. At centre-back, I would probably say that he is passable. You might disagree. I would say that he is passable for what we're trying to do and how you would normally go at centre-back. Next. Let's have a look for Araujo. I believe he must be on this page as well. Where is Ronald Araujo? There he is. Ronald Araujo is 6'2". He obviously has 79 pace, 86 defending, 84 physical. Good reactions for a centre-back. Good short passing, which is pretty key if you're being put under pressure. He will be lengthy, which is always nice. I think, especially with his Barcelona links, I, I will take links into account for some of these as well, I think he'll be meta pretty early on. Like, people will pair him up with other La Liga Cinemax or other Barcelona Cinemax, whether they be male or female, and I think he'll be quite good. So we'll put him in the meta section. Then we've got Bastoni, who I I'm not sure again. Is he on this page? I forget half the pages. There he is. Why they keep giving me ad on ad on ad on this website. 73 pace, with pace splits that are interesting to say the least. 72 passing, with decent long and short pass. Decent dribbling and composure and reactions. Good defending, good physicals. I'm going to say that he's passable. I'm not going to say he's fodder. I'm going to say that he's passable for the first few weeks. He's not perfect, of course. But he is passable. Next, we've got Bremer, who I believe is on this page. Yeah, he is. Bremer, 84 rated. 6 foot 2. 80 pace. 85 defending. 83 physical. He's Brazilian. He plays in the Serie A, which isn't the greatest for Lynx, admittedly. Like, there are good Serie A and Juventus players that you can use. So, I am going to put him in the meta category. Now, you might disagree, and if you disagree, let us know in the comments. I think that Bremer could be meta early on. The next one. Ede Militao is 80 what? 86 rated. <laughs> 6 foot 1. 85 pace. 86 defending. 82 physical. With very good sprint speed and all-round defensive stats strength is a little bit low it's below 80 but i suppose early on that's good enough of course there's only there's only one answer to this he's controlled lengthy as well so he will be lengthy i'm sure there's only one answer Ed Militao is the first on the meta list or the top tier list because he will be top tier 
for quite a while. He is one of the highest rated cinemax in the game. And the next player in the game that we're going to look at, I believe is on this page. Fakayo Tomori. 6 foot 1, 86 pace with 90 sprint speed. Decent agility and composure and balance for a centre back. Defending and physicals off the charts. Again, he's English. He's from AC Milan. There's lots of good players from both England and AC Milan. That is quite important to note when you're looking at these players. I am of the belief that, again, <laughs> now people are going to disagree. I believe that he's top tier. I believe that he's top tier. And he will be very usable for the first few months of the game. Next, we've got the last of the centre-backs that qualify for this on our list. Or one of them. Gabriel. He is... 70 pace. 6 foot 3. Good defending, good physicals. He's got 77 sprint speed. Good short and long pass, good reactions. I just don't think he's very, like, unfortunately, 70 pace. He might be lengthy. I think it's possible, but I also don't think that he's going to be used in a lot of teams because of things like what you've seen here. So we're going to put him in the fodder tier. I know, it's going to upset all the Arsenal fans to see him in the fodder tier, but someone's going to be there. Just like. The other player on this list that we have in this tier, I believe. Where is he? Is he on this page? He has to be somewhere, right? Where is he? Is he on the next page? He was on the first page. That's pretty wild. Matthias Ginter. 60 pace. <laughs> 6 foot 2. 85 defense, 80 physical. 84 strength, 83 jumping. Good vision. Good reactions. Good ball control. Good composure. But, unfortunately, again... You know where this is going. Into the fodder tier, he will go. Even though he's from the Bundesliga. Then, we've got Kalidou Koulibaly, who I believe is on this page here. He is. Kalidou Koulibaly, 6 foot 1, 76 pace, with 85 sprint speed. 84 defending, 83 physical. He plays in the Saudi League for Al Hilal, so he links to the likes of Neymar, Ruben Neves, as well as... Sadio Mane and such, even though he links to Sadio Mane anyway, and Ronaldo. Does he look good? Yes. Is he going to be the greatest centre-back with the greatest links? Not really. <laughs> so, we'll put him in the passable tier. He's passable for a few weeks. After that, he might not be. The next one, which I believe is also on this page, if I do my math, is the math going to math today. Kim Min Jae, who is 6 foot 3, 80 pace, 85 defending, 84 physical. Decent short pass, good reactions, good composure. I think that Kim Min Jae is meta. Again, there's buy-in players, some of them we'll speak about later, but there's good buy-in players all around, and I think he'll be very good early on, maybe a little couple of months into the game, it depends how far you choose to run these sorts of players. Next, we've got Jules Kunde. <laughs> Next, we have Jules Kunde, who is who is 5'11", 84 pace, 86 defending, 80 physical. Now, again, he's a little on the shorter side, and the last player I put on the shorter side, I put in the passable tier, and people probably are going to kick off when they discover that Jules Kunde is just better. I've used his cards this year, and I know this year is not exactly the greatest transition, or, you know, it's not the biggest comparison, but I think that Jules Kunde, again, I think Jules Kunde is going to be meta. Do I think he's going to be top tier? Maybe. Not quite, but maybe. Again, this is all opinion-based. If you want to get the link to this. I'll put it in the description so you can do it. Next, we've got Laporte. I don't know if there he is. Americ Laporte, 85 rated. 61 pace, 86 defending, 73 passing, 78 physical, 67 stamina. I think that just tells you everything you need to know. I'm sorry 
to all the Al Nassar fans out there, he's not very good. He needs a special card, like a flashback or something. He's going in the fodder tier. Next, we've got Lucas Hernandez, which I'm just going to do that so I can have a look. 76 pace, 84 defending, 78 physical at 6 foot. 2 star, 2 star, low, low work rates. He's from PSG. Like, there are better PSG center backs that are actually lower rated. If you know, there's the likes of Kim Pembe, and there's other players that we'll get to in a moment, really. But I'm going to say he's passable. I'm going to say that he's passable, and I think he's good. Lissandro Martinez, who is also on this page, is 73 pace. He's 5'10", 85 defending, 85 physical. Good, well-rounded stats for a centre-back. However, I'm of the belief that he's, that he's, like, he's fodder. Maybe he's good at DM, or maybe he's good at left-back. But at centre-back, which is what we're ranking all these guys on, he is passable. Now, this next one is a very interesting one. We've got these next two, actually. Marquinhos, 78 pace at 6 foot, 89 defending, 80 physical, 3-3, three, three. I think he's quite good, he looks very good, good nation links, good club links, links to a lot of players, which puts him in that top tier category, and then again, we go to the next one, Matthias Delict, who is 86 rated, 66 pace, like, that's a bit sad, actually, that he's 66 pace, because he is better than 66 pace. 85 defending, 86 physical. It's a bit of a cop-out when you see cards like this, and you wonder how they're 86 rated. I'm gonna put him in the passable tier, because he is passable if you put, like, a shadow on him at center back. The next one, however... Ruben Diaz, 62 pace, 89 defending, 87 physical at 6 foot 2. I mean, not much more to say. He is very good at centre back, I'm sure, but I think he's fodder for the card that we're trying to see and we're trying to use. But the next one is Antonio. Rudiger, wherever he is, I think he's on, might be a little further down here, apologies, I should have got all these players ready, Antonio Rudiger, 82 pace, 84 defending, 86 physical, I think that this card is 6 foot 3, Real Madrid links, German links, there will be good German players throughout the year, maybe not immediately, but throughout the year there will be good players, and I think that this card is top tier. So we've got a very even sort of balance in terms of cards. We've also got next, I believe he's on this page. I believe he's at the bottom of this page. Yes, Milan Skriniar, who also plays for PSG. 78 pace at 6 foot 2, 86 defending, 83 physical. Decent reactions and composure and good short and long passing for a centre back. Again, you just need that if you're going to be put under pressure. A lot of people like to press. From the back, and a lot of people like to try and lock you in and score easy goals. So, again, I, I don't think he's top tier, but I'm going to put him in the meta category. Going to put him in the meta category. Then, we've got Smaldini, Chris Smalling, who's been absolutely butchered. 62 pace with 52 acceleration and 71 sprint speed. I don't think that bodes very well. 87 defending, 82 physical. If this was any other year and he had any other pace, because pace is very key, people can laugh and say, oh, it's just pace. You can probably win with like a 50 rated against an Mbappe with no pace. You need pace. If you can't keep up with your defenders or your attackers, then you're done. So Chris Smalling, unfortunately, it's going in the fodder tier. I know, it's it pains me as a retro fan, but Chris Smalling is not it anymore. But, next, I believe, we've got Jonathan Stones. No, that's not his real name, but you get my point. 
We've got Johnny Stones, if he's on this page. Is he on this page? He should be. He should be on this page. I've seen him on this page. He must be on the next page, which is a bit silly if he's on the next page, but I haven't seen him. Where the hell is John Stones? Sorry, I'm gonna take a second here to, to look at these cards. Like, I'm looking hard. I'm looking very... I'm looking, you know, long and hard so I can find... Oh, there he is, John Stones. John Stones, 72 pace, 6'2", 85 defending, 80 physical. 75 passing. I, he's got good. He's got good passing and good dribbling for a centre back. I think that he's in the passable tier. I don't think he's in the meta or the top tier. Maybe he will be. Maybe I'll be wrong. But I just don't see him in there. And then we've got on this page. We've got wherever he is. Nicholas Sule. 73 pace. But 83 sprint speed, 6 foot 5, 85 defending, with 85 physical, including 95 strength now. I'm not going to say he's meta, because that acceleration does him in, and acceleration is quite important, I think. For a center back, even pace splits are key, so I'm going to put him in passable. I'm not going to put him in meta, but I'm going to put him in the passable tier, because, well... He is passable early on, not for too long because of that pace. And obviously, the longer we go into a game cycle, the higher the pace will need to be. Next, we've got, I think, on the next page actually, well, not on this one, sadly. Tiago Silva, <laughs> a legend, one of the best set of acts of the modern era. He's fodder. 51 pace, he's automatically fodder. 51 pace, 6 foot, 87, 74. Oh no, did I just... I better not have just deleted the tier list. Oh dear. Please do not tell me that I just deleted the tier list. And I have to do... Oh no, I didn't. That's good. Thank the Lord for that. Well, he's fodder. Good on me. He's fodder. The last two, I think you know where they're going. And I think you'll like it. Varane. 6 foot 3, 79 pace with good pace splits. 86 defending, 78 physical. You just know that Varane, as usual, is going to be meta AF. He's just going to be meta AF. And then the last one, conveniently, the best has been saved for last. Virgil van Dijk, the best gold centre-back on the game. Probably male or female. 78 pace with 87 sprint speed and 866 acceleration. A shadow doesn't do that bad. On him, 89 defending, good passing, good dribbling, and ball control, and composure. Physicals, of course, off the charts. Van Dyke, his blocks are going to be insane. He's going to be meta AF. He's going to be top tier. But, yeah, that is that. Let us know in the comments how you think I did. And we'll be back again with another one, probably tomorrow. We'll look at fullbacks. So yeah, let us know what you want to see, and I'll catch you all in the next one.